Hey guys, it's Shannon. Thanks so much for checking back into my channel today and just hearing what I have to say. <laughs> so today's video, like the title says, is going to be about my word of the year. So I had mentioned this in a previous video that for the first time ever, I decided to go with a word of the year. And um, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to talk about it with you, let you know what my word was, why I chose it, all that kind of stuff. So that's what we're going to do today. We may be um, visited by some kitties because I am down in my office and this is the cat's territory and they love to walk back and forth across my desk. And I'm just using my computer right now to film this. So we may have visitors. We'll just see. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get with it. So my word of the year. I don't know how other people go about picking their word, but I just, I kind of really liked the concept of picking a word that you try to keep, you know, on your mind throughout the year and refer back to it throughout the year, just kind of as like a motivational thing. And I thought, you know what, this is the year I'm going to do it. So immediately, like immediately a word came to me and I thought, I don't really like that word, <laughs> which is just awful. But I want you guys to be honest. If you're somebody that has done a word of the year, let me know down in the comments if you've like not liked a word that you had um, that kind of popped into your head. Um, I would like to know. I think that would be really funny. But yeah, I I got my word and then I'm like, I want a different word. And I did talk about this in another video. I'm like, why can't I get a fun word like shopping or spend or um, hoard. I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. But I didn't get a word like that. I kept thinking and the same word just would not leave my mind. So I figured that's the word. Simon is doing his best to make as much noise and distraction as he can. He's right over there trying to dig in the blinds. Simon, come here. Come here, buddy. Come say hi to everybody. You might see him in a minute. Uh, you can see his shadow. Let's see. There's his head. <laughs> Simon, okay, I'm going to turn my computer so you can see him. Whoop, there he is. He's sitting on top of my printer. Simon, say hi to everybody. Say hi, Simon. He's like, you are weird. Who are you talking to, woman? Okay, so <laughs> there's Simon. I guess we'll go ahead and leave the computer like this. Distractions. Filming with cats, right? Okay, so let's get down to it. My word is begin. And... The reason why I didn't like that word is because it's going to be hard work for me. <laughs> I guess I wanted to skip out and get like an easy word or something. But the reason why it's going to be work for me is because... <sighs> okay, so how do I explain this? Let me start over. I feel like I've been in caffeine or something and my thoughts are just all scrambled. My word is begin. So we're going to begin again. See how I did that there? <laughs> okay, so the reason why begin is going to be important for me is this. I have a really hard time with, if I want to do something, I want to do it well. And I want to put in all my effort and make it turn out exactly the way I think it should be done. So what happens is if I'm at a point where I don't think I can do it exactly the way I would want it done, then I'm like, well, I just shouldn't start because if it can't be done exactly the way I want, then it can't be done right. So I should just hold off and not start. So that's where begin comes in because one thing that I came to find out is... I never would have thought this about myself, but I had read a couple times and they had said that if you're somebody that fails to start a project because you don't feel like it can be done right at that moment, that that's, I used to just think it was kind of procrastination or whatever, but they said that that's actually a sign of perfectionism, which makes me laugh when I think about myself because I don't think of myself as a perfectionist, not by any stretch of the imagination. But I totally get what they were saying because by not starting B 
because I don't think I can do it totally right, that is being a perfectionist. Like if I don't think the job can be perfect, I don't even do it. That just doesn't make any sense. So my word is begin because I'm going to try really hard this year to keep in mind that it doesn't have to be perfect. I just need to start, that that's the most important thing. I need to start. I need to be consistent and stay with things, but I don't have to wait for the conditions or the environment to be perfect. So there you go. That's my word. That's what it means. I'm going to turn this back a little bit now that the cat's gone. Um, hopefully this video isn't really dark. I feel like I need a light like right on me. Um, I was going to film up in my beauty room, but some work is going on and, um, it would just be really loud. So that's why I'm, that's why I'm in my office where it's nice and quiet. So what does begin mean for me this year? Obviously I just explained a little bit, but how that applies to my year is this. Um, 2018 was a difficult year for us in a lot of ways. Um, some pretty big major life changes happened, some good, some not so good. And it, it kind of, it allowed me to be in a spot where I was like, I want to do things, but I don't think I can do them perfect. And all this other stuff is going on and distracting me. So therefore I just won't do anything. And that, that wasn't the best idea that that's not the best approach on things. So I am moving forward 2019, the year of begin, um, how that applies this channel. I'm beginning <laughs> to post again on this channel. Um, I've really struggled with this channel because PS toy reviews, it's like, I'm in such a good routine with that channel that it's just, I don't want to say easy because it is work, but it, it just works. It just flows, if that makes sense. And this channel, I love, like I have a heart for this channel, but I just find so many excuses because I'm like, well, like, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be what I envision exactly. So why do it? And that's going away this year. So my goal this year with my word begin is to just make the content, put it out there, do the best I can and just not have pressure about it. So I have, oh, I don't have my calendar down here. Okay. I have my new Hobonichi. I'm actually going to have a haul, a Hobonichi haul coming up soon. So I have my new planner. I scheduled out like the first three months, I think, of the year, what kind of content I want to put up. Um, my goal is to, on this channel, put up videos three to four times a week, which I mean, I know some of you right now are like, oh my goodness, that is so much content versus how much she normally puts out. <laughs> so that's the goal. And, um, yeah, I, I think it's going to be, uh, like Paul and I said in the video that is two back, I think there was the, uh, 2018 wrap up video. Um, he's going to be on the channel a little bit, but not much. I'm going to be doing a lot of coloring and journaling and diamond painting. So a lot of crafty stuff, but also beauty and makeup and fashion and, question and answers with Paul and I and just, you know, different, different things, just fun things, kind of everything that makes me, me. So that's what's going to be going on here. We're going to have a visitor. Hi, Simon. I don't think they can see you yet, baby. Come here. Oh, yeah. You're meowing. Say, whoa, where are you going? Look, say hi to everybody. He's like, I don't understand. This is not the normal camera you use, mom. Say hi. Say hello. You're slipping away. Okay, so we'll hold Simon. Oh, you're gonna yell? Look, the lighting is so bad, Simon. They can barely see your beautiful face. This is what you get for wandering into the video. He's like, I don't understand. Okay, so we're gonna have footage on this channel and I'm probably going to begin my other channels. Please don't stop the recording, Simon. All right, he's making a mess. He's knocking things. He's knocking everything off my desk. Um, yeah, 
So begin. If you guys have a word of the year, please let me know. Sorry for the tail you keep randomly seeing in the video. Um, craziness. Okay, yeah, go ahead and let me know your word of the year down below. I would love to hear what you guys are working on this year and what you're hoping to accomplish. Um, I have a video coming up next where I'm actually going to be talking about just some 2019 <laughs> goals that I have for myself, just kind of some crafty goals and nothing too serious, just kind of fluff stuff. But I have that coming up soon. So please go ahead and check back in for that. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble. Um, sorry, my thoughts weren't more coherent, but... <laughs> <laughs> you get what you get, I guess. I don't know. All right. I'm going to say goodbye for now. Make sure to um, join me over on Instagram if you're there. It's Paul and Shannon's Life on Instagram. And um, please subscribe here so you can hear more of my craziness. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day.